What up, YouTube? Ham Radio Cuso here today, out doing ham radio related activities. Now, over the past couple of days, I have been busy. I have been working on my six meter antenna setup, and what I decided to do was build a six meter Moxon antenna. Pretty straightforward, easy to build. I have it up off uh, about 17 feet off the ground, maybe 20 feet off the ground. Got a six meter net tonight. We're gonna try to check into that. And uh, I'll show you the antenna in a minute. And the other thing I've been thinking about doing today is experimenting with my end fed. Uh, I've got three end feds up. One is down to where I can reach it, maybe. Might have to lower a little bit. But I saw an interesting video. I got took a 70 feet of wire extra, I guess it was. A mosquito crawling on me. 70 feet of wire and hooked it to his end fed and was able to get 80 meters. Now sometimes I can tune 80 meters, but sometimes I can't. Most of the time I can't, but uh, let me show you this moxin real quick. But before we do that, let me show you what I got. This antenna on the left is a commercial GMRS antenna. The one on the right is a Tram 1446B dual band, 2 meter, 70 centimeter. And I had it up here before. But there it is. Six meter moxin. It was pretty simple. Wasn't too difficult to build. And uh, sure worked good. SWR is like 1.5, 1.6. Which I'm not going to worry about. I'm going to run it that way and go. But if you remember from the last video, I had the, the big vertical over here. But I moved it on top of the tower and got the beam down for now because the beam's gonna go uh, on that tower right there. That's the 100 footer at some point. So anyway, here's my wire. There's a bunch of it here. We'll walk back here and I'll show you this uh, end fed that I will be working with today. Experimenting. That's what Ham Radio is all about. Experimentation. And a buddy of mine got his amateur extra license this weekend, KY4DMD. If you see him on the bands, give him some love. Tell him that KQ4LPW sent you there. But, uh, okay. Should be able to see it over my shoulder there. I can't see nothing out here that sun's so bright. But I'm going to take this wire. And attach it there then we're probably going to run around that stump and go that direction with it and see what happens don't know it should be able to tune it up a little easier because there's more wire here but uh we're going to find out so let me get to unrolling some wire now that i made all my connections let me show you what i've done now this is not going to be ideal by any means this is just for testing purposes only. So I just twisted it in there. Run it all the way down here to this piece of the stump. Just made a loop there. Took it off this way. There's the hunter footer. And just tie it around this post. It's a lot of wire. Should get us closer to 80 meters. We can hook the Nano VNA on it and uh, see where she falls. Be right back. Okay, there's the SWR on 20 meters. I'm gonna try to do this one-handed. Well, let's see here. There's this cat's not going to allow me to do so. She she wants to be part of the sh part of the show. So let's go stimulus. Start. Let's go down to one megahertz. You got a good dip there. I don't know what that's on. Let's see where that is.
looks like that's at 2.9. Oh, now I gotta do something with this cat. Okay, so at 3.130, it is 2.5. Tuner should take that out just fine. I could probably uh, add more wire to it and get this dip to move. We may do that here in a minute and uh, see what happens. I'd like to get this dip, that dip's 1.2. I'd like to get that dip over to, uh, I don't know, somewhere around what? Let's see here, let me look at my chart. 80 meters, somewhere around about 3.7, uh, 3.9. 3.9 would be a good place for it. I don't know how much wire we need to add, so 3.9 is over here like a 12 SWR. So let's hook it up to the radio and uh, see what the radio thinks about it before we go to adding any wire. Okay, there's the start. Way too high. Pretty good there. Another 60 meter band. Yep, tuner on him, two nuts, too high. We need to put more wire on there. Alright, let me go see if I can find some more wire. Alright, so I had to re record this. So let me tell you what we're looking at here. At the beginning of the 80 meter band, 3.8. Is 1.0 in SWR. Perfect. As we go up through the band, 3.9 is 1.4, and 4 is right at 1.9. You got 1.9 at the top of the band. So this random length of wire works on this end fed. And we wouldn't have a bit of problem using it from, say, 3.9 to 3.8. That range, we wouldn't even need a tuner. But anyways, I'm going to get back at it. I just had to re-record this because I didn't record it earlier. As you can see, we was able to get 80 meters off the end of an infed without a, an inductance coil. I did change how I ran it. I didn't run it over to the fence. I moved it over here to make it uh, just make it a little bit easier to deal with and keep it off the ground a little bit. Let me show you what I've done here real fast. So there's our insulator. This is our extra wire here. You can see it's just twisted together. Comes over top of the grapes and comes over diagonal. to this tree tied off that limb so the only thing I done was just kept pulling it shorter and shorter and shorter wrapping it around itself till I got my SWR somewhere where I wanted it and uh, it should work fine there's a group of guys that get on early in the morning I'll leave it connected like this it's not in my way I could just leave it like this all winter as far as that goes and uh, can do some testing but what I think I'll do is I'll hook the wire 
that I added to the right side of this insulator and put me a connector of some sort, alligator clamp or something to where I can just clip these two together and use it on 80 if I want to, if it works out. But I do plan on building me a 80 meter loop in here. See, I've got plenty of room for that. But uh, something I want to do. Playing with radio. But that's all I have for today. I wanted to get out here and do something. So I've been fairly busy the past couple days. I've got the six meter moxin up, which I'll test it on the six shooters net tonight. It should do good. SWR is fine and it's up at a decent height, about 20 feet. And we'll play around with this 80 meters and see what happens. You see, I've got end pads running everywhere. There's a, another one over my head here. You might be able to see the wire there. And out front, I've got another end fed. You might be able to see the wire over my head. But I'll show you real quick how I got these uh, mounted to the tail. And the moxin and the big jet stream antenna. Plenty to do in the ham radio world. But anyway, I'm going to get out of here. It's hot. They say it's 82 or 83 degrees, but it feels like 90. It's so humid. Dry. Mow today. Had problems with the mower. So I'm done. I'm going to go in here and play some radio. So if I see you on the airways, great. If not, get your license and get on there. And with that, I'll head out of here. Peace.